There's nothing pretty about TMJ. If you're suffering from it yourself, you'll already know this. TMJ can be a long-lasting and thoroughly miserable condition. It often begins mildly, but it rarely stays that way. I know. I've been there. At its worst, the pain affected every aspect of my sleeping and waking life. I'm not ashamed to admit that at times it made me cry. When I read that some sufferers become so distressed by the condition that they fall into depression, I wasn't even slightly surprised. When I was first diagnosed, I did not realize how badly TMJ disrupts people's lives. Over time, I found out. And it was awful. You may already be aware that finding a remedy on your own for TMJ misery is likely to be a difficult and possibly frustrating task. If you've suffered from TMJ for a while, then you are already on that road, and you truly wonder where or even if it ever ends. That's exactly where I found myself. And as I searched for answers, I discovered that not only was I not alone, but that the outlook was often not a happy one. I had already searched high and low to find remedies, but I increasingly came to one terrifying conclusion. Specialists didn't really have a handle on what was causing my pain. In fact, it was worse than this. The treatments they recommended actually feel like experiments. Each specialist recommended his own specialism as a likely cure for my TMJ, but each specialist turned out to be wrong. GP, dentist, neurologist, orofacial surgeon, to name a few, all well-meaning, but all restricted to their own area of expertise. I doubt they really understand the root causes of TMJ. I, of course, knew even less, so I had to try it all. Nerve and muscle pain relief, splints, mouth guards, Botox, teeth filling, vagus nerve stimulation, surgery. As each one failed, I moved on to the next. And the results of all these efforts? Either small, short-lived improvements, or no improvements at all. Hours of my time in specialist offices, and thousands of my hard-earned dollars later, there was little to show but disappointment and lost hope. I almost got used to the process of meeting a new specialist, discussing my symptoms, listening to him or her give their professional opinion, then me paying substantial sums of money, hoping and praying that this time it would be different, only to realize in the end that it wasn't different. It was exactly the same. Well, the same except I was financially poorer than I had been before. But the TMJ hadn't gone away, or even improved. But wasted money, wasted hours, and dashed hopes aren't the real horror of TMJ. Before eventually stumbling into the remedy that cured my TMJ, I had come to a major realization about the condition, and the real horror of TMJ is that it isn't stationary. It doesn't sit still. Instead, it deteriorates. It gets worse and worse and worse. Which leads us to the truly horrible realization that wherever you are with your TMJ right now isn't where you'll be in the near future. It's almost certainly going to become more painful over time. It did for me. And it did for almost every case study I read. My symptoms became dramatically worse. It wasn't just the pain that worsened, although it definitely did. What I found deeply distressing was the way my face became distorted. People remarked that I physically looked different. The TMJ was pulling on the muscles in my face while also wearing away at the joints on one side of my jaw. And so my jaw shifted to the left, making my face lopsided. After a while, a new symptom. Whenever I opened my mouth, there was a loud pop. It started as the occasional one-off, then it became regular and loud. And by loud, I mean that a person five feet away could hear it. I quickly learned to not open my mouth all the way. Why? Because twice it almost dislocated when I yawned, which really scared the life out of me. So I had to make sure I didn't open it more than halfway. And then I developed the sensation of clicking, popping, and scraping whenever I moved my mouth. It was especially disturbing when I was eating and provided a constant reminder to me that things were gradually getting worse. My own research found that none of this was unusual. This wasn't special TMJ. This was normal TMJ. This is how TMJ gets worse. 
Pain disturbed my sleep, often making sleep impossible. I awoke already exhausted. Some days, I swear I sleepwalked through the day. Only the pain in my head and face kept me awake. But as I say, TMJ doesn't sit still. Over time, the pain spread so that it covered my entire head, all over my face, across both shoulders, and down my neck. I wondered how much worse it could get. I soon found out. My TMJ started to affect my hearing, which I personally found terrifying. I love music. I love talking with friends. I enjoy movies. I needed my hearing. I was scared out of my mind that I was going deaf. It began with earaches and then ringing in the ears, but it progressed to a kind of thickening of my ears where sound became distorted and quieter. All this slow buildup of pain and misery wore away at me, my health, my happiness, and my life. I'm clear of all TMJ symptoms now, but I remember so clearly how frightening it all was back then. I visited TMJ forums, and what I read scared the life out of me. Many, many people had suffered from TMJ for decades. I learned from their comments there was plenty more misery to come. Worst of all were the people who said their vision was becoming distorted. I was already scared that my hearing was going. To lose my sight, too, was beyond thinking. I stopped reading those forums in the end. I couldn't bear to see where this could all end up. I could feel my happiness slipping away from me. I became sullen and quiet. I snapped at my spouse. I was moody with friends and family. I knew I was like this, but I couldn't stop it. And this isn't uncommon. It's expected. The medical profession is already well aware that any type of chronic pain can cause deeply felt mental health problems. Rapid mood swings, irritability, anger, crying, intense frustration, and inability to find any pleasure in life. These are normal and accepted consequences of ongoing discomfort and pain. TMJ is a typical cause of ongoing discomfort and pain, and we sufferers will eventually recognize both the physical and mental anguish listed above. Some TMJ sufferers take mild antidepressants to deal with the emotional damage caused by unrelenting pain, popping, numbness, ear ringing, and facial distortion. I felt very low with my TMJ and had many moments of bad mood and even, I suspect, mild depression. It didn't help my relationship with my spouse or with anyone else, to be honest. When I read the account of a young TMJ sufferer who had decided that if he didn't cure his suffering within a month, he'd end his own life, I could understand exactly where he was coming from. I'm not one of life's complainers, but I grew angry with how I was treated. Some nights, the pain made me cry. Other times, the helplessness made me feel very low. I was running out of options. I was quite literally running out of things to try, and money was becoming a problem. My insurance didn't cover this kind of condition. The treatments aren't cheap. They're not very pleasant, either. And the costs add up alarmingly fast. And more and more, I had to face up to the possibility that I might be stuck with this misery for the rest of my life. And that, I can tell you, hand on heart, was an awful prospect. Here are some of the different specialists that can get involved in trying to uncover the cause and cure for your TMJ. General practitioner, dentist, facial pain specialist, neurologist, orofacial surgeon, orofacial myologist, chiropractor, osteopath, PRI physical therapist. Curing TMJ is as reliable as rolling a dice. Which specialist is right for you? If the diagnosis is tricky and the source of the pain is difficult or impossible to pin down, then you may as well roll a dice. What was shocking to me, and it took me quite a while to realize this, was that the experts I was seeing didn't actually know how to remedy TMJ. To their credit, most of them didn't pretend that they did, but it was so incredibly frustrating. On the one hand, they were honest enough to admit the causes were varied and not properly understood. Yet, on the other hand, they'd recommend a fix that they could do, but which cost so many dollars, while admitting they couldn't offer any assurance they'd work. I still remember my initial horror at the realization that effectively, they weren't treating me, they were experimenting on me, because each specialist was limited as to what he or she could offer me. 
They could only recommend something they were capable of doing, not necessarily something that would definitely work. So that's what they would offer me. And me, I had no clue. I was the piggy in the middle being pushed here and there. I just had to cross my fingers and do as I was told. How could I possibly know what was right for me? Will filing down my teeth work? It's a standard remedy for jaw and tooth pain caused by TMJ, but it only occasionally helps. If it doesn't work for me, then what? Perhaps a vagus nerve stimulator will do the trick. But maybe I need decompression surgery. Who knows? The short answer, it seems, is almost nobody. The problem is that some of these treatments change you. Your teeth or your bite, for example, and you can't reverse that, and they cost. Wow, do they cost. One of my surgeries was going to cost $7,000. The doctor admitted there was no certainty it would even work. And then he asks if I want to go ahead with it. How do I know whether I should go ahead with it if he's not sure it will work? How do I decide? On the one hand, I am in pain. My health is falling apart, and with it my life is slipping away. On the other hand, I was nearly out of money. My savings had dwindled very quickly, and I was scared I would finish up with no emergency fund, no spare cash for something unexpected later on in life. I had to give up here. Again, this isn't an unusual situation for sufferers. Many health insurances simply don't cover this type of work. Mine didn't. So TMJ sufferers like me gamble a thousand dollars on, for example, a mouth splint that in the end may make no difference at all. Days after I realized I could no longer continue with the various treatments, the experiments as I called them, the depression set in. Now, without hope, I went back to painkillers. The very painkillers that I had avoided before in case I became addicted. But now they were all I could afford. I could still be in the same situation today, except I'm not. Because one day, everything changed. I met Christian Goodman in a long line at a drugstore. He was buying toothpaste. I was buying more painkillers. We got talking and I told him about my TMJ. He instantly recognized my story. It was nothing new to him. He started to tell me a truly fascinating story. This sounds really odd at first, but there's a fantastic punchline. Christian had worked for a long time with people who snored a lot, which was interesting but irrelevant, or so I thought. He had developed a set of simple exercises that tackled the root causes of snoring. The exercises worked well, and as a result, many people experienced significant improvements in their sleep. Their snoring reduced or ended, they stopped disturbing their own sleep, and they were very happy. But something unexpected happened, something that wasn't meant to happen. Christian received a truly odd email from a lady who was using his snoring exercises. In the email, the lady told Christian that the exercises had not only cured her snoring, they'd cured her TMJ, too. At that time, Christian was only vaguely aware of TMJ, but a brief conversation with the lady in question and a longer chat with a TMJ specialist helped him quickly work out why this would be possible. Snoring is partly due to tension and muscle tightness in the throat and neck region. TMJ is partly, and I emphasize the word partly, due to very similar causes. It's not hard to see there could be an overlap between the two conditions, and Christian's snoring remedy had accidentally started curing TMJ too. Christian went on to interview a number of TMJ sufferers. He asked them how the pain began, he asked them where they felt it, how they felt it, when they felt it, he asked about how it progressed, which parts of the face hurt most, how it affected their necks and shoulders, when the ringing in the ears began, how it was worsening their eyesight. He asked and he listened really carefully to what they told him, and he realized that TMJ didn't just exist in the jaw and neck area, it existed in the upper body. There were what doctors refer to as multifactor causes of pain. In other words, the shoulders, the back, your posture, even the way you breathe, are all causing, contributing to, and then worsening the miserable experience of the average TMJ sufferer. It's in the jaw and neck area that the problems manifest. That's where the pains are often actually felt. We complain of jaw pain, sore teeth, headaches. And that's why so many specialists focus on these areas, because that's what the patient complains about. But they're trying to fix the symptoms. Fixing symptoms leaves the causes in place. Without addressing the causes, you're left forever with the symptoms. 
The cause is more complex, more interconnected, more subtle. If you look away from where the pain is felt, you find yourself looking at where the pain is caused. Christian interviewed more and more TMJ sufferers. He listened to what they told him, and he asked specific direct questions. He started to uncover things that a dentist or a neurologist simply would never have thought to ask about. He collected, customized, and developed more exercises to properly address the root causes of TMJ. He paid attention to the different areas of the body that could contribute to the overall condition of TMJ and created a simple exercise program that tackled each one of them. He tested the program with dozens of TMJ sufferers. He used their feedback to improve it until he knew that he had the real deal. A TMJ program that tackled the root causes of TMJ. And yet, like specialists everywhere, Christian admits, I don't know the exact causes of TMJ. But the combination of potential causes is better known. And if you're tackling them all, then it no longer matters which specific one is doing the damage, does it? Get them all, and you've got whichever combination of causes is hurting you. Was this the breakthrough I was searching for? It had lots going for it. Just for starters, Christian Goodman's remedy involves no waiting rooms, clinics, or surgeries, no drugs, potions, or injections, no measuring, cutting, or testing. Not a single minute spent discussing your symptoms with lots of different specialists. Not a single penny spent trying out appliances, medications, treatments, or procedures. Instead, I would practice a simple set of exercises that I could do while watching TV or reading a book. Exercises so simple that other people won't even know I'm doing them. And they'd take about three minutes a day. To be brutally frank, I had nothing to lose. I'd already wasted so much time and so many dollars chasing cures that I was prepared to try anything. This one looked too easy to be true, but after all I had already been through, I just had to go for it. And the result? My TMJ was gone in nine days. It's hard to describe how I felt. For one thing, I was so shocked that I just couldn't believe the pain relief would last. But I continued to do the exercises, three minutes a day, and the pain has never returned. TMJ exercises aren't totally new. After speaking to Christian, I searched online, and guess what? I found several amateurs online who know an exercise or two. They didn't have anything remotely like Christian's fully thought-out program, but they had something. Here's where it all goes badly wrong, though. 1. Not nearly enough exercises. After some searching, I found someone who showed me a single movement, but what I already knew from my conversation with Christian is that to get rid of that pain, you will need at least four subtly different movements. Four to six, or more, is best. When the ones I tried didn't work, Christian reminded me that the muscle and bone structure in your face and jaw area is intricate. It needs targeted work in order to affect it. Too often a person tries the movement in the video, it doesn't work, because on its own it pretty much can't, and then they give up along with all the other remedies they've tried. Two, they concentrate on the jaw. And this is where the real disasters occur. Again, this is something that I now understood. TMJ is a body problem. Its source is not entirely at the jaw, but around it and below it. It's the tackling of TMJ at the level of the upper body, and not just the jaw, that is transforming endless pain into relief. Which is pretty much why my TMJ reduced, and then disappeared so quickly once I started Christian's program. 3. Incomplete information is dotted everywhere. This was frustrating, too. Not only could I not determine whose exercises were actually effective, I had to do endless Google searches in order to try to piece enough information together that I could make sense of any of it. I pretty much failed in the end. Because I am not able to judge which information is helpful, which is useless, and which might actually cause me more pain. Really, I wanted this all worked out for me. I didn't want to have to think about it. I wanted to be told what to do. I'd do it, and then see what happened. What Christian's program gave me was everything I needed, all in one place, all tried and tested, and all ready to go to end my pain. No searching, no trial and error, and no risks of making my condition worse than it already was. And that, I can tell you, is all I wanted. Now, you may be asking yourself, isn't this all too simple and low-tech? Surely the medical profession could have worked this out by now. 
That does make sense, except the thing I noticed when I went through my own TMJ hell was this. Each expert recommended only the fix that he himself specialized in. No dentist ever told me, Oh, I can't help you. You need an osteopath. And no osteopath ever told me, Ah, uh, not me. You should see a neurologist. Nobody had any interest in recommending anything that they themselves couldn't provide. I don't think anyone wanted to consider a set of exercises that were easy to do, don't need a specialist, implants, or meds, and generates no medical bill at the end of it. Let me tell you about the program that got rid of my TMJ. Here's your first big surprise. There's not a great deal to it. It's pretty simple. And because there's no drugs, no splints, no implants, no interference with your body in any way at all, it's easy, can be done literally anywhere, and has no side effects. Except for the one where the TMJ disappears. But you can live with that, I'm sure. Christian's program is described and explained in the TMJ Solution. He explains, in beginner language, the basics of TMJ. He tells you how the exercises are going to help you. Then he shows you the exercises. I actually describe them as movements because I'm not a very active person, and they don't feel like exercise to me at all. Finally, he puts the exercises together to create a simple program. You follow the program, and that's it. The simplicity of it is part of its beauty, because there's no secret to all this, just common sense. Remember that, as Christian explained to me, while TMJ is not fully understood, there are four different ways that your body gives you the condition. His exercises address those four different ways, meaning that one way or another we hit at least one of its causes, which also means that I don't have to be drugged, prodded, or opened up by a surgeon anymore. It works. I looked at a number of testimonials before trying Christian's program. I wanted to see other people who had suffered like I was. Like me, they thought they were stuck with chronic TMJ pain forever. Like me, they were wrong. There are thousands of people who have found relief from horrible TMJ pain by practicing these simple movements for a few minutes a day. I recall that first full pain-free day when my TMJ was finally gone. It makes me smile just thinking about it. If you're at the start of your TMJ suffering, you might want to nip it in the bud before it gets worse. I know what it's like when it gets worse. It's just awful. Christian's remedy is drug-free, surgery-free, takes three to five minutes a day, and there's no medical bill at the end of it. What does this exercise program look like? For a start, although this program is short, it's comprehensive. It leaves nothing to chance. As I mentioned earlier, the program tackles all possible areas that might be causing your TMJ. I never fully found out how my TMJ came about, but by performing exercises that tackled all possible areas, I clearly got at the one that was causing the problem. At first, the exercise program looked like quite a lot to me, but you don't do them all at once. In fact, you do many of the exercises only three or four times per week. So, altogether on any given day, you exercise for about three to five minutes. I'm a little slow at these things and like to take my time. Even so, I rarely exceeded five minutes. In fact, they're less exercises and more like movements. I call them exercises, and Christian does too, but I always imagine that exercises involve effort and sweat. These certainly don't. They're very easy and deliberately relaxing. The majority of these movements I did either while sitting watching television or standing in the kitchen cooking. The exercises are not intense. You just need to do a little every day. And they focus on different areas. The jaw, the throat, the tongue, the shoulders, the neck, the body, relaxation, the mind, nurturing a relaxed attitude. The beauty of these exercises isn't just the simplicity of them. It's that you can leave out ones that you prefer not to do. Just do the ones you prefer. There are four exercises concentrating on the jaw. TMJ caused my jaw to become stiff and painful. The jaw structure came out of line, so it distorted my face a little. The jaw exercises tackle the various jaw area pains directly and help correct the distortion. A number of others focus on loosening and relaxing the throat and tongue. 
I had never heard of throat or tongue exercises before, but the throat is closely connected to the jaw and should be exercised regularly, while the tongue is one of the main muscles inside your head. Between them, the exercises not only loosen and relax throat and tongue, they have the side effect of loosening up your shoulders and neck and even opening your sinuses. They're stupidly easy, but also quite pleasant. Then there are body movements. These ones mainly target the shoulders and neck area. Tension here is directly related to the jaw. These movements reduce tightness and stress, prime candidates to be causing your TMJ. Breathing exercises. Something I didn't realize was that breathing movements not only reduce physical tension, they reduce emotional tension too. Emotional tension causes physical tension, and physical tension leads back to emotional tension. They're so closely connected, and when your TMJ is causing mild depression, then anything that addresses emotional pain is very welcome indeed. Followed by relaxation exercises. The easiest of them all, which is saying something given how straightforward they all are, are relaxation exercises. They were really nice to do, and I could see that the benefits of these would go beyond just relieving me of my TMJ symptoms. The last two types of exercises were quite surprising to me, until that is, they went and cured my TMJ. Attitude exercises. This was an unexpected but really eye-opening surprise. These exercises are just ways of thinking about your problems, your opinion of yourself, and your opinions of others. I usually don't go in for this type of thing, but Christian's 1-2 rule, for example, was particularly effective, and it had the side effect of improving a couple of the difficult relationships I had at that time. Communication exercises. Perhaps the most unexpected exercises for me were the communication exercises. Talking, basically. You can do this with a partner or a willing friend. Doesn't matter. It's not just jabbering on, though. Christian explains the setup, and he gave me some guidelines for this. It worked really well, so easy, and enjoyable with it. All the exercises and movements were easy, relaxing, and often really very pleasant to do. Given the pain and the state of mind I was in at the time, I was glad the program was so gentle. And if there's a type of exercise you'd prefer not to do, then you don't have to do it. There are plenty of others to choose from. I made my own program after a few days. Christian explains a simple method for taking exercises from each category so that you don't miss anything out. But you can just follow Christian's plan if you prefer. It all works. This program got rid of my TMJ. Would you like to try it for yourself? I don't know which stage you're at with your TMJ. Hopefully you've not developed some of the worst symptoms yet. But we may as well face the fact that as time progresses, so does your TMJ. Worst symptoms are inevitable. For me, I simply realized one day that I could no longer bear the pain anymore. The headaches, neck aches, jaw aches, the clicking and scraping of my jaw bones, my facial distortion, the loss of hearing, the low moods. I was fast losing my love of life. I was losing my sense of ease, my comfort. As my TMJ worsened, I lost my peace of mind, my ability to enjoy any of life's pleasures, and in the end, my willingness to socialize. The pain became an embarrassment, having to explain it to people, fielding questions about how to cure it when I didn't know the answers, when nobody seemed to know the answers. And I knew full well my TMJ would get worse. That's what it had already been doing. Enough really was enough. I often thank my lucky stars for that chance meeting with Christian Goodman. I did not know where I'd be right now if that hadn't happened. I was lucky. Perhaps you deserve a little luck, too. If you've spent thousands of dollars on treatments already, or if you're going to be spending that kind of money soon, then Christian's program is a must-have. If you've already paid for a month of painkillers, you've probably spent more than the cost of this program. Leave things as they are, and you're condemned to more hours and hours of waiting around in doctor's waiting rooms, hours of explaining and then re-explaining your symptoms to various specialists, then spending hundreds of dollars, but quite likely many thousands of dollars at a time on procedures, measurements, fittings, and surgery. Don't do this to yourself. 
Everyone deserves better, and that includes you. Bypass all that pain, discomfort, expense, and frustration. Tackle your TMJ now while it's this bad, rather than waiting for your health to get past the point of repair. Click the Order button now and receive your copy of Christian's TMJ Solution. Christian's program is guaranteed. I signed up for Christian's program because I realized that, after hundreds of dollars spent on tests, x-rays, fittings, and meds, and then thousands of dollars spent on implants, that for me there was no light at the end of the tunnel. TMJ was a deteriorating condition, getting steadily worse, dragging my life into a place that I just didn't want to be. I didn't want to let my life slip into more misery than I was already suffering. What I was really scared of was damage that was nearly impossible to cure. But most of all, I wanted to avoid at any cost jaw, ears, or eyes damage that was irreversible. A set of exercises three minutes a day for the cost of this month's daily newspaper? What sensible reason did I have for not doing this? He pointed me to his order form, link below, and I signed up. And as I signed up, one thing struck me immediately. Christian offered me something my dentist never offered me. He offered me something my osteopath didn't offer me. In fact, Christian offers all his clients something that not a single professional out there will offer you. He offers you your money back. His promise to people like you and me is simple. If my program doesn't deliver the results you want, then you get your money back. Trying it will have cost you nothing at all, not a penny. You'll be no worse off than you were before you tried it. But you might, like me, be so fantastically better off that you will forever thank your lucky stars that you took some action to get a copy for yourself. Admittedly, Christian has pretty good reason to be so generous. Because the exercises that make up his program have helped thousands of TMJ sufferers all over the world, these exercises aren't an experiment or a gimmick or a bit of esoteric, mystical wisdom allegedly handed down by soothsayers from the dawn of time. I'm really skeptical about that kind of thing. They're solid, easy-to-perform, proven movements that address TMJ pain at its sources, and which so many TMJ sufferers absolutely swear by. So, Christian can afford to offer you 60 days, 100% cast-iron, no-questions-asked guarantee, because he knows that recoveries like mine aren't the exception. They happen all the time. Thousands of ex-TMJ sufferers are witness to that. Remember how things went for me. After three days of practicing the exercises, the ache in my jaw noticeably subsided. The neck and shoulder aches? That pain just fell away. And because of that, so did the pain in my face and head. That clicking in my jaw joints? It disappeared. Mercifully, my hearing came back too. I had been sick with worry that I might go completely deaf. But just imagine it. Imagine feeling normal again. I can tell you, it's like coming out from underneath a crushing weight. Something that just holds you down in pain and unhappiness. I was back to my old self, and I felt absolutely wonderful. And that's why Christian receives so many testimonials from grateful, happy people. Testimonials like these ones received in the last ten days. After the first couple of days I could feel a noticeable change. The clicking, popping, and tension were 90% gone. Each day things continued to improve. I'm now 100% again. Mary Stewart, New Jersey. I have done all the exercises for the past two nights, and you know that my jaws have not hurt at all when I wake up in the morning. Thank you very much, and I will email you from time to time to let you know how I am doing. Ali Van Hoy, Dallas, Texas. Just to let you know that my condition is improving each day since I started using your product. The pain is diminishing each day, and hopefully it will be completely gone in the near future. Thomas Young, Orlando, Florida. After reviewing the information about your program and understanding the concepts behind it, I realized just how amazing and effective it really is. It totally cured me. I'd highly recommend your program to anybody who suffers from TMJ. Ann Smith, San Diego, California. Your options are super simple. Just like I was, you're probably at a crossroads now. Which way to turn? I hope you haven't been through the dreadful experience that many TMJ sufferers go through. But if you have, then there are two simple options. Option 1. 
stick with the medical profession, and spend your way through the various implants, fillings, cuttings, and manipulations. Genuinely, they do sometimes work. And when they work, they're worth every penny of the thousands of dollars that they cost, because the relief from pain is almost priceless. But if you've already traveled that road and it's all failed, or if you've made the smart decision that you're simply not prepared to travel that road in the first place, then your second option is equally simple. Option 2. Attack the causes rather than the symptoms. That's it. My TMJ was cured. Quickly. Because instead of hacking away at the symptoms, I addressed the causes. Instead of focusing on the pain itself, I remedied what was causing that pain in the first place. And Christian's program tackles the causes from every direction. It makes no sense to carry on suffering. And for me, it made even less sense to carry on spending money on unreliable and ultimately disappointing procedures. If you can do something about this misery now, then now must be the time to act. Because if not now, to properly address your TMJ, when? The program that ended all my TMJ misery is just a mouse click away. Click the order button below now and get your copy of the program. You know what hurts almost as much as the TMJ? It's not just that this program costs less than the price of a daily newspaper for a month, or that it's less than a couple of weeks of the cost of your meds, or that you'll spend more this month on your daily coffee than you would on this program. What really hurts is that if I'd bought Christian's program instead of paying for all the treatments I've had so far, I would have saved more than 99% of my money. I wasted thousands of dollars following the conventional route, the safe route, the sensible route of doctors and specialists. I plundered our savings. We sacrificed holidays in order to have the cash to spend. I sold my car. It was so unnecessary. I really wish I hadn't. It's just that, at the time, I didn't know better. I wish I'd met Christian in that queue at the chemist twelve months earlier. I'd have gotten better a year sooner, and at a 99% discount. Don't suffer TMJ for a minute more than you have to. If you've had TMJ a while and are finding out that TMJ is a curse, then I'm genuinely sorry for you. I know what you're going through, because I've been there. If you've only recently been diagnosed, then you've probably already realized that TMJ is just ugly. You've possibly discovered that many, many sufferers have it for years. Too many never get rid of it. They run out of money, and they run out of hope. And then they just put up with increasing discomfort, pain, and misery. That could be you, but it doesn't have to be. You're reading this letter today because you've decided to do something about your TMJ. So you're probably not one of those passive sufferers. You've either grown tired of being disappointed by treatments that cost money but don't deliver, or you haven't yet been down that route but realize that's the fate that awaits you and you've decided to take matters into your own hands. So make today the beginning of the end for your TMJ. Get the same program I got. Do the same things I did. Get the same results I got. Or get your money back. All you have to lose from Christian's program is pain. If that's what you want, then click the order button below to get the program in just 90 seconds. By the way, don't forget... As your TMJ progresses, you will spend time, energy, and money on drugs, tests, and procedures. You'll have to. TMJ can become unbearable. These expensive remedies may not work in any way at all. And while they're failing, at considerable expense to you, your TMJ just gets worse. If you've decided to rid yourself of TMJ pain, if not now, when? Christian's program costs less than a month of coffee. And this offer ensures you win, because if you don't think the program was worth your money, then get a full 100% refund. Do you know how many specialists will offer you a full, no questions asked, 100% guarantee on the work that they charge thousands of dollars for? None of them. Not a single one of them. If a loved one was in the pain you're in, or facing the possibility of it, would you want them to try a quick pain-free, proven, and super cheap method to make them happy again? If you do it for someone else, then for goodness sake, do it for yourself. By all means, spend your savings with the medical profession. But first of all, be kind to yourself, and try Christian's program for yourself. And one more thing, 
Remember that TMJ often gets worse, and when it does, it can cause real damage to bones and joints. Some of that damage can never be reversed. Leaving it to do its ugly work makes no sense. Thousands of us decided to act rather than suffer, and we're pain-free as a result. Not acting now is a decision, but it's a poor one. The 100% money-back, no-questions guarantee means you're doing this without any risk at all. Make the decision. Get the program. All you can possibly lose is doctor's visits, medical bills, pain, fear, and misery. I'm glad I did it. You'll be glad you did it, too. Click the order button below for instant access to the TMJ solution.